Sometimes we have a very busy schedule and we crave biryani but don't have time to make it. So this is one pot biryani recipe that's extremely easy to make and will satisfy your cravings. There will be one teaspoon of seven different sort of masalas that includes chaat masala, red chili powder, cumin powder, turmeric powder, garam masala and your ginger and garlic powder. Along with that you will need a teaspoon of pink salt with that take three um, bay leaves, one um, star anise, two big black cardamoms, 10 uh, cloves, um, then you can take four to five green cardamoms, few peppercorns, uh, some fried uh, onions around two tablespoons and three medium sized tomatoes. Add 600 grams of boneless chicken thighs and then add 10 baby sized potatoes and mix everything together. So this is your crock pot and you're going to leave it for two to three hours and then afterwards we are going to add some yogurt and we're going to dress it up with rice. I've mixed everything together and then I've added some more coconut oil. Now it's been three hours almost and I'm going to check at what position this biryani masala is at. Now it's looking nice, it's, it's done so I'm going to add yogurt. So now what I have done is like I have separated all those uh, whole spices and tomatoes in a blender and I am going to add around 3 tablespoons of Greek yogurt. And then you are going to add uh, green chilies as per your taste and a piece of ginger and few cloves of garlic. Then you are going to blend and you are going to add this mixture back in the crock pot. Now I am going to add that yogurt mixture and I forgot to tell you that I added um, a bunch of coriander as well. So that's why it's green. So now after an hour when we added the yogurt, uh, it should look something like this and all that excess water should evaporate. So I'm going to mix it and this is the time then uh, we are going to add our boiled rice by adding layers into it. So I have dished out most of the masala, now I'm going to layer this biryani with rice. Now the layering is complete and I'm going to add a bit of milk in which I've diluted some yellow color to give it a nice look. I'm going to add that and then I am going to cover it up with the lid for the next 10 minutes. So here we go guys, I'm going to dish it out and let's see how it turned out. That looks yummy. I hope you'll try this one pot biryani recipe. Let me know how it turned out for you. And for more interesting recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. Till next time, take care and goodbye.